Hey everyone, it's Ken here. If you own a Tesla or you're investing in Tesla stock, you'll want to stick around for today's updates. We've got some big news from charging network satisfaction surveys to surprising updates on full self-driving that impact both your daily Tesla experience and the company's long-term value. Let's dive right in. First up, charging. A new survey from JD Power shows Tesla's supercharger network ranked number one in the US for the fifth year in a row. It scored 709 points way ahead of competitors, but that's actually down 22 points from last year. Why? A growing number of non-Tesla EV drivers are now using superchargers and many of them are less satisfied, especially with costs. Tesla's destination charging network also came in at the top with a score of 661, beating out ChargePoint and others. And here's a big one, charging failures, where the charger simply doesn't work, dropped to just 14%, the lowest since JD Power started tracking this. That's a clear sign charging infrastructure reliability is improving. Next up, Tesla's software. Recent code analysis suggests Tesla is preparing to move from the Godo engine to Epic Games' Unreal Engine for its autopilot and FSD visualization. Unreal Engine is a powerhouse in the gaming industry, offering ultra-realistic 3D graphics. Some Model S and X owners are already seeing more detailed, interactive vehicle avatars on their screens. The catch? This upgrade will likely only apply to newer models with AMD chips. Older Intel-based Teslas may not be supported. Nothing official yet, but we could see this rolled out in the end-of-year holiday update. So what does all this mean for owners? For charging, the fact that superchargers remain number one is a huge reassurance for road trips. Reliability keeps improving, but with more non-Tesla drivers using the network, you might notice busier stations and rising costs. For FSD, the Unreal Engine upgrade isn't just eye candy. It means safer, more intuitive driving. Objects like speed bumps or crosswalks could appear more clearly, giving you confidence that the car sees what you see. But again, check if your Tesla has the AMD chip before getting too excited. And for investors, Superchargers being rated number one for five years is a major brand strength. It reinforces Tesla's edge in EV infrastructure, a key factor that drives consumer choice and long-term demand. But the drop in satisfaction scores and cost complaints highlight potential risks. Non-Tesla access brings new revenue, but if existing Tesla owners become unhappy, that could weaken brand loyalty. Meanwhile, the FSD visualization upgrade strengthens Tesla's software story. More intuitive UI means more drivers may adopt FSD subscriptions, which deliver high margin recurring revenue. That's exactly the kind of business model shift from car maker to software company that Wall Street pays close attention to. So both for owners and investors, Tesla is moving forward on two fronts. One, stronger infrastructure reliability. Two, a more powerful software experience. And together, these shape the Tesla of tomorrow. Personally, when I first saw the new UI, it really felt like something out of a video game. And I couldn't help but think, wow, driving with this would actually be fun. But then I wondered, will my Tesla even support it? That's the big question. Quick stock check before we wrap up. As of today, Tesla is trading down at $333. That's it for today's update. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I post Tesla news and insights every single day, so you'll always stay ahead of the curve. Before I go, a quick note, I'm also sharing Tesla content on X and Instagram, and I'd love to connect with Tesla fans all over the world. If you're ever planning a trip to Japan, feel free to drop your questions in the comments. 
I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's enjoy life with Tesla. See you in the next one.